Saudi may buy 78 Boeing aircraft for $37 billion, and Kuwait Zane sees a 14% rise in revenue to $5.6 billion. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Saudi and newly established airline Riyadh Air are reportedly expected to buy 78 Boeing 787 Dreamliner planes for $37 billion. The planes are expected to be split between the two state-owned airlines with the option to buy 43 more. On Sunday, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman announced the establishment of Riyadh Air, which is expected to add $20 billion to non-oil GDP growth while creating more than 200,000 direct and indirect jobs. Kuwaiti Telco Zane saw a 14% rise in 2022 revenue to $5.6 billion driven by its 5G network upgrades, digital innovation, tower sales, cost optimization and data monetization initiatives. Consolidated net income rose 6% year on year to $640 million, reflecting earnings per share of 15 cents. Consolidated earnings before EBITDA rose 7% year on year to reach $2.2 billion, reflecting an EBITDA margin of 39%. The Lebanese lira hit a record low this morning on the black market falling to 100,000 against the U.S. dollar. The new low is compared to 90,000 recorded against the greenback at the end of last week and an official rate of 15,000. In February, Lebanon officially devalued the national currency for the first time in over two decades to 15,000 lira to the dollar. That's a 90% devaluation from October 2019 before the country began defaulting on its external obligations. Shares of Uber and Lyft rose in pre-market trade today following a California court's ruling on treating drivers as independent contractors rather than employees. It removed some future regulatory risks for the rideshare companies. Analysts estimate Lyft, DoorDash and Uber have potentially avoided a hit of between $20 million and $170 million to their 2024 core earnings. And that brings us to today's Forbes Real-Time Billionaires ranking. It tracks the daily ups and downs of the world's richest people. Our biggest loser today is LVMH's Bernard Arnault, down $5 billion, but still with net wealth of $206.7 billion. Our second biggest loser today is Reliance Industries' Mukesh Ambani, down $1.6 billion, with net wealth of $81.8 billion. And our third place loser is his counterpart Gautam Adani, down $1.6 billion, with net wealth of $45.7 billion. Check out our website and our social media for all of the latest billionaires news. And staying with billionaires, Elon Musk and Chinese EV and battery maker BYD have denied a media report that said Tesla is ending cooperation with BYD on battery supplies. It was reported that Tesla had not asked BYD for an additional supply of batteries for certain Tesla Model 3 vehicles after their supply deal expired earlier this year. But Musk says the media report is false and relations between Tesla and BYD are positive. BYD, meanwhile, says it's preparing to supply Tesla with batteries very soon. And Volkswagen is going big on its change into EVs, announcing plans to invest $193 billion over the next five years. Around two-thirds of that is aimed at electrification and digitalization. VW wants half of its sales to be EVs by 2030. The company will also spend big on battery production and its North American operations, while investment in combustion engines is due to fall from 2025. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.